YouTube, hello, guys and girls. This is a GFE sports card back with another video. I got a recent uh, PSA order in and I wanna show you the results. I think I have about 25 cards. Uh, the cards were submitted last year, uh, September or October of 2020. Of 2020. And uh, I got them back uh, the end in December of 2021. So it was well over a year. Uh, I've already seen the grades. Um, I'm not satisfied with a lot of the grades that I got, but hey, it is what it is. So the first card I have is a 1972 uh, Lou Brock Tops. And this one came back a PSA 6. Wow. Next card I have is a 1975 Topps Joe Morgan. And this one came back a PSA 5. I think it's a lot of vintage in this particular order. Uh, like I said, I saw the grades and put the box in the closet for probably some weeks here. And I'm just now pulling it back out. Uh, the next card is a 76, no, 75 tops. Uh, Charlie Taylor, Fred Valentikoff. I think this is the Valentikoff uh, rookie card. Uh, this one came back, a PSA 6. Next card is Franco Harris, 1976 tops. This one came back a PSA 5. Uh, I know on a lot of these older cars, they're normally very off-center. But for the most part, the majority of these were clean. Uh, may have had some Bennett uh, corners. But other than that, the surface seemed to be pretty good on the majority of these cards. Uh, next card is a 1979 Topps Jack Lambert, and this one came back a PSA 4. I haven't had a chance to just really look over these, and when we submitted the cards, we really wanted to get a lot of the vintage stuff we had in boxes uh, graded. Wasn't expecting, you know, high grades, so we still satisfied. Next card is a 1974 Topps Franco Harris. And this one came back a PSA 8. So this is probably the highest grade out of all of the vintage cards that we sent them. Next card is a 1978 Topps uh, Joe Green. This one came back a PSA 7. Of course you all know by now, I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yep. So, a lot of those we might keep, but a lot of these are available, so if you're interested, uh, you can reach me on uh, Instagram, uh, DM me at GFE Sports Cards, and I'll get back to you ASAP. So, the next card is a 1977 Topps Earl Monroe. This one came back uh, PSA 7. Follow along with basketball. Next card, 1977 Tops. Pete Maravich, Pete Maravich, PSA 6. You don't see a lot of his cards at all, even when I go to shows. So I just wanted to get something slabbed of him. Next card is a 1972 Tops, Earl Monroe. This one came back a PSA 4. Next card is a 1977 Topps Bob Lanier PSA 7. The older cards definitely, uh, you know, has a nice appeal in SGC holders and the PSA holders. Uh, next card is a 2012 Dunris Stephen Curry career stat line. This one came back a PSA 10 
and it is numbered out of 203 so this was the best card probably in the in the uh order that we submitted and this one card alone uh probably could pay for the submission so i haven't looked at recent comps or seen if any of these have sold recently but it is a curry and it is numbered so I'm quite sure this might be a pop one. Uh, I'll double check that and see. But that's a nice card of curry. And that's one I think I had on the top loader for some years. Next card is a curry again. This one is his 2015 Prism Flash. And this one came back a PSA 9. I just love that shine on these uh, Prism cards. And this Flash is definitely pretty. Uh, Curry is a, man, arguably uh, the best shooter ever, which I think he is. And uh, we like grading a lot of his cards. Next card is a mini. And this one is a 1974 Nabis Nabisco Oscar Robinson Sugar Daddy. <laughs> That's funny. And this one came back a 5.5. And as you can see, it is leaning a little bit in the holder. And that's how we got it back from PSA. Uh, I guess if I stomp, I mean, well, well, I guess if I hit it, it'll move. But I don't want to hit it too hard. But I, I thought this was very unique. Uh, you really don't see stuff like this either. So I think I'm going to keep this one just because of how small it is and the rarity. Uh, no, I'm not concerned about what a lot of these cards are worth or what we can get back. Um, I'm just glad we were able to get our orders back, period, from them being there so long. Next card is a PC card. Uh, this one is a 2006 Bowman Elevation Dwayne Wade rookie card, and this is the dual jersey. And it came back a PSA 8. A lot of the thicker cars usually grade in the 7 and 8 range. Uh, you get 9s and 10s, you, <laughs> you better be very happy. Uh, this one is numbered out of 99. And uh, we've had this for so many years. Probably, man, I would say at least 10 or 12. So we're glad to get this one back. And it is... PSA 8. Next card. I think with every order, we send in a Michael Jordan card uh, and a LeBron normally and a Kobe with every order. So this one is a 1996 Bowman's Best Michael Jordan and this one came back a PSA 8. These have dropped tremendously but uh Anything slab Michael Jordan, I would say is definitely a whole and worth grading on, you know, his cards. Next card is a 2005 LeBron James, and this one came back a PSA 10. So we're pretty happy about this. This is the finest with one of his signature dunks. And I'm quite sure this one is a low pop as well. And I think this is a second year card, if I'm not mistaken. So... That's even better. Uh, we're glad to have this one as LeBron is approaching uh, closer and closer to Kareem's all-time uh, NBA score. So we'll see. Uh, from the way it looks, LeBron will probably be breaking that. Next card, which I think is pretty good for this particular year. This is the 86 Flair of Clyde Drexler. Wow, and this one came back a PSA 9. I don't know too much about these, but I know it's a very iconic set that a lot of collectors uh, collect. And I thought this one was clean before we even sent it. But, you know, looking at the back, the centering is off and uh, can't really tell. Well, top and bottom it is, but I thought the card was very clean surface-wise and corners and this one paid off. It came back a nine. Next card. Uh, my good. Paul Pierce, 1998 
EX Century uh, rookie card. This one came back a PSA 7. It has to be the surface on this one. Uh, I just thought it was a cool card. I uh, don't see too many um, graded Paul Pierce rookies either when I'm at shows and out. So I just thought it'd be good to get it graded. Now this next card is a personal PC card and this one is game used. Probably my favorite uh, all time baseball player. Uh, Hammering Hank Aaron, and this is a 2001 Upper Deck Legends. And as you can see, it is two colors with the stripe. Uh, this one came back uh, PSA 6, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I just wanted, really wanted this car slab. Uh, I started to put on that authentic, you know, in case it didn't reach a certain grade, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this one I'm definitely keeping. And like I said, it's game used. And the last card of the order is another card that I've had for quite some time. And it's a PC card, uh, Jonathan Taze. And this one is numbered out of 49, 2012 Limited. This is his Jumbo Material Prime 2 color. Yeah, I, I collect hockey too. Uh, Majority of the stuff that I have is Blackhawk cards. Um, that's my favorite hockey team. But I also enjoy watching the other greats. Uh, Gres not Gretzky. That was kind of before my time. But Ovechkin, Crosby, you know, those guys. And even the new school guys, McDavid and them. So uh, this order, like I said, a lot of the grades wasn't great. But... You know, hey, this is what we do. I grade cards. Um, I definitely need them for shows, and pretty soon we're looking to find a location and open up a shop. So I keep you posted on that. And if you are not following us on Instagram, please do so at GFE Sports Cards. Thank you for watching our video. Um, we have more content on the way, and. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.